It's also manifest not only as infection, but in the concept of what's called the Herxheimer reaction or die-off reactions, okay? So oftentimes I'll have patients come in and say, oh, I tried X or I think I had a yeast infection. So I tried, you know, Diflucan or I tried some herbal remedy for it and I got way worse. I had die-off, right? And so I can't take that. And it's not necessarily that it's not necessarily the case that the person can't handle that medication or handle that herb. It may be that A, they didn't realize they had biofilms and the strategies they were using created a planktonic shower. Okay. So if a biofilm is there undisturbed, picture it as an ISIS cell in your town, right? ISIS could be present in your town, but if no one knows they're there, they're operating under under the covers, right? Nobody nobody knows until they fly a plane into your building or whatever they're gonna do, right? So so they're there, they're they're under they're um, not being picked up by surveillance or not causing any issues. But if the local police get a tip that hey, there's an ISIS cell here, they go knock on the door, they go rip the roof off the house. Now there's an acute inflammatory event, right? ISIS is shooting, the police are shooting, everyone knows they're there now. So you could say that town is worse that day than it was yesterday, right? Just from a symptomatic standpoint, but really it's the same town, we just know there's bad guys there that we didn't know were there yesterday, right? So clinically, if you're working with a practitioner and you you enter a phase that is dealing with infection, say, and it could be gut, it could be sinus, it could be lungs, it could be bladder, and you're quote unquote worse since starting, you may not, it may not because you can't, excuse me, it may not be because you can't deal with a certain herb um, or that you're worse. It may be that you're successfully pulling roofs off ISIS cells, okay? And so what needs to be determined is do you need to push a little harder for a little longer or do you need to tweak dosing down? Like, Individually, you need to figure out with your clinician what needs to be done. But a die-off reaction or a Herxheimer reaction doesn't always necessarily mean bad. It probably most of the time means there's biofilms there that no one knew about. 